Hello everybody, welcome to Investing and Entrepreneurship on this Friday, highly on video. Let's get into it. Certifications, that's what's hot right now. How far away is Hylion ERX from getting certified from CARB? And what happens next? How long is it going to take for the EPA certification? And then what happens next? And look, real quick. The 15 liter natural gas engine by Cummins, and this is a 2024 one. It's already EPA certified. So what's up with that? Also want to give a shout out to the next person that donated and that fund's coming together. So, whoo, baby, coming November, let's do that HQ visit and see what's up. Also, Thomas hasn't really done a future trucking episode in a few months. So that's overdue as well. But look, a shout out to Kane Matthews that donated 50 bucks and that fund's coming together. So thanks for your support, Kane. Shout out to you and everybody else. You know, if you want to drop some support, drop it right there on the fund and uh, get some skin in the game. Okay, so what's up with the CARB certification? It's almost time for it. It should come any time now, but it could get delayed. Now, I want to talk about something else that's important, all right? Technicals with the stock. Me personally, today, I went back in there and just grabbed another 200 shares. I paid about 200, uh, something, it was less than 250. And I thought it was a pretty good deal, actually 248 to be exact for 200 shares. And I thought it was a pretty good deal. But when I was looking at the technicals and I want to every, alert everybody to go check out the technicals, when you look at it at a month, you know, at 30 day chart, it has a really nice, beautiful uptrend. It's in the channel right there. And it's basically making higher highs and lower lows. And today it made a low consistent with that channel. So let's see what next week brings. Now, I thought that was a little bullish. So that's why I bought just a little bit more stock and to just keep adding. But however... I also looked at the year chart and the year to date chart and I looked at an 18 month chart and it was a little bit scary because when you look at that chart, there's a pattern that starts to emerge that Hylian has a consistency to make a new low and then go in a channel that kind of goes upward right up to the next fall to make a new low. Now. It also looks like Hylian at the same time is repeating that trajectory, which brings me to the cautionary tale that if there is another low in the stock, we might see this drop into the 80 cents because that would be the next logical low, the next place for it to drop. Now, I think that to myself and to that everybody that's watching these Friday videos, we are no longer concerned on whether Hylian's going to make it or Hylian's going to fail. I would assume that most of us are really convinced that Hylian's going to make it. And honestly, right now at this price at $1.20, it is such a good buy for Hylian. But you have to be convinced that Hylian's going to make it. Now, is it the best place to put money to perform? I would dare to say it's not. But I'm going to talk about that a little bit. I just want to caution everybody to understand that if you're waiting for Hylian to go to another low, like 80 cents, because you want to get into the stock, I wouldn't recommend that. I would say buy now and get ready because this might be the last low. But if it does go to 80 cents, grab some more. But to us that have been investing in the long term, um, I would say... Caution to not believe that this is its last low and go in, you know, mortgage the house just to buy highly on stock or, you know, pull a debt alone just to buy highly on stock because there could be another low and it could take a while for this stock to perform. Now, when I really look at where would my money perform better, would it perform better if I just buy Google? Or Amazon because look every time that I've been buying Google this year my money's performing and it's performing pretty good I just bought Google I had gotten out of Google and I had gotten out of Amazon 
And then I went back in about a month ago. I caught a good low and it's already performing. One's already got like 7% and the other one's got like 6%. Amazon was down a little bit, but in less than 30 days, a 6% return for safety of investing, that's pretty good performance. But me personally, I am taking a risk, a high risk investing in Hylia with the trade-off that my money is going to outperform any kind of investment that I could have thrown, including NVIDIA, over a 10-year span. Meaning that I firmly believe that I'm going to get back a 100 to 1 reward on my stock that I have in Hylian within 10 years, which I don't believe that I will get that same return in any of the proven stocks. So me personally, that's why it's like highly and I'm betting on the next 100 times, the 100x maker. So that's why I'm investing in Hylian. If the stock goes to 80 cents or it does another low, then yeah, I'm going to grab a whole bunch more. Then I'll probably take out some debt or do some really super risky stuff because I got to understand that the certification is about to happen. It's going to happen anytime soon. Now, if it gets delayed, I would say maybe we still get third quarter report without the cert, which would be like hard on the stock. I would have to assume that the stock would go down. Also, the market's not really taking off. I thought the market by now would be taking off. And we're headed into another Fed meeting, which I really would not think much negative news will come out of it. I really would not expect a hike or any kind of that. But the fact that inflation has gone back up, you know, the the news that might come out of Tuesday and Wednesday at uh, Jerome, they might be hawkish. And that would probably make the market probably experience more volatilities. You know, basically what I've seen in the last few weeks, even though I haven't been that involved, because like I say, I'm stepping away. I'm focusing on making that money. That way, if I do take a business loan to buy more highly on stock, I know that I'm going to have cash flow coming in to be able to pay back that loan. Or simply, if I don't take a loan and I just choose to get my cash flow in, uh, I might have more cash flow to buy highly on stock. But the advantage of having a gig, a small business is to have that extra certainty that you have that cash flow coming in. That's why I recommend everybody to start a business if you have some extra time. And we're going to look more into that in other videos. But I'm mentioning this because I want to start to know from here, from the Highland community, who has a small business, who's interested in starting a small business, or who's looking at learning more about that. So drop it in the comments right now so that I can know and, you know, we could talk about that. But look, let's talk about the certification. So the 2024 15 liter engine is certified already for Cummins. Now, I haven't really delved deep into like looking at what's going on because I already know that the Hylian cert's coming out. But Helion just launched another video yesterday, which was kind of cool. And, uh, his channel's linked way at the bottom. Scroll down to the description and you're going to find links to other YouTubers that are doing Hylian videos, you know, that I consider like the cool community of Hylian, like the hardcore Hylian YouTuber community. So find the links. His link to the channel's right there in the description. But he just put out a video showing everybody how to go find the status on the carb cert for Hylian and Cummins, because it's a collaboration that Cummins is pretty much heading for Hylian. And Cummins filed it. Now, to me, this tells me that the engine certification and the certification for the Hylian system, which is using the engine as a generator, and I think they're going to also consider the powertrain, that's why it's its own certification it's going to certify more than just the engine. Either it's going to certify it as a generator or it's going to certify it as a system, including the powertrain, the e-powertrain. So 
when that does happen, that is going to be a very bullish event. It's going to affect the stock in positive ways. I have to assume that and I have to add it to my to my view. However, I also have to take a bear case and understand that it could get delayed. It could take a longer time or it could get approved and not really do much for the stock. That's why I'm kind of cautioning people to accumulate highly on, do it in a dollar cost average method. Don't lose your head thinking that highly now right about to just blow up and take off because most of us have thought that way for the last two to three years, kind of have gotten a little bit burnt. However, we understand that with Hylian, it's just a matter of time. Everything's a matter of time. The ERX is going to get adopted. It's a matter of time. The fuel cell hyper truck is going to get adopted. And now with time, as you have we all given time to things to play out, hydrogen starting to take center stage. That truck might actually be requested by some of the same innovation council members that are like saying hey we need that for example anheuser bush i know they want that fuel cell probably more than the erx because anheuser bush is trying to set a global example like i didn't even know this but they are in other countries and they're also using the most modern technology so i believe i saw that they're in the united emirate you know in the uae united emirates or whatever it's called but they're anheuser bush has a presence in the middle east in some of these highly advanced nations and over there they're also deploying full electric solutions and hydrogen solutions so to me, I could already tell that Anheuser Busch is going to be one of those that's going to want the fuel cell. Now, I also think this is great and bullish because let's say that Anheuser Busch does adopt the fuel cell and takes it to other countries and uses it, it's going to give exposure to the Hylian system. Okay, so now let's change the conversation a little bit and talk about what thomas has been up to so thomas has really been dedicating his time to get these erx's done you know they've been building erx's since uh investor day and according to pictures that have been taken and been circulating online and i know a few people have uh shared these images so those images if you look at them the docs are full of ERXs, of semis. And a lot of them look like they're ERXs. Some of them look like they're hybrids. Also, it suggests that they are progressing just according to the plan. There's really no reason to believe that the plan and everything that Hylian has mentioned that they will do that it's not going to fall in place because so far the track record shows that they're delivering on every milestone and every promise. So I'm really looking forward to this next quarterly earnings and hear the progress. I'm sure they already have trucks placed. And lastly, I'm going to talk a little bit about Thomas's visit to the White House. So Thomas was out there, you know, Hylian was repping at the White House. And what's going on is that the White House is really doing a lot of work with business owners and companies to figure out, okay, how are we going to develop and how are we going to implement according to the Infrastructure Redevelopment Act, the IRA, or something like that, right? But the plan that has to do with infrastructure redevelopment and they're basically talking to companies not only to get the feedback but behind doors there's negotiations and deals being done with these companies and you know how can we help you how can you help us and you know that this administration is starting 
to lay ground to see how they can get deals in before elections come because our system works that way. So highly on being at the White House, I got to assume that Thomas got a chance to talk about the Cardinal, got a chance to talk about the ERX, about the fuel cell hyper truck, and pretty much promote its technologies because one very good customer for Hylian would be the federal government and all its agencies. So that's what's going on. I'm going to keep this video short, this week's video short. I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been watching the videos. Um, I've been a lot busier. It's getting a little bit harder for me to do these Friday videos, but I'm going to keep doing them. I'm going to put them out because the community is coming through and they're showing me the support right there at the GoFundMe page with their dollars. Anybody wants to continue supporting, please do. Um, we're a mature community here. We're a Hylian community. is pretty strong. And, you know, some of the Hylian culture is that we deliver. You know, Hylian delivers. They're about their word. I'm going to deliver. I'm about my word. And the community is delivering. You know, they're showing their support. So thank you for that. And that itself deserves recognition. I know that a lot of us, I already know a lot of the community, you know, through the comment section, we've built a relationship. And I look forward to meeting everybody in person one day. But I know a lot of us, we're going to be wealthy because we're investing. But a lot of us are going to be wealthy just from our highly on holdings. So look forward to that. Don't get discouraged. 2024 is right around the corner. And everything's looking real good with the stock market. It's taking its time. But a lot of experts predict that one of the next biggest bull markets in American history is about to come. We'll see. To me... When I look at everything that's going on in the stock market, I am inclined to believe that. But as anything, I stay with my feet on the ground, I stay realistic, and I am accumulating. At this time, I am no longer trading. I am done trading. Basically, I traded into everything that I'm going to go in long term. I traded out of the things that I needed to sell, and now I'm accumulating for the long term. That's just me. I hope everybody keeps taking advantage of these really good opportunities to buy stocks at pretty, pretty decent prices. And I'll get a chance and put out more videos because look, Intel, it's looking hot. It's not a buy right now. Wait for 35. Fisker, I told everybody, buy it under six bucks. It's at seven bucks today. I just see that making money. Um, MMM, 3M, Maybe not a buy right now, but start grabbing it, start accumulating. It's looking good. I hope it goes to 80 bucks. I'm gonna load up PayPal. It looks like it's starting to do something. It's at 64 bucks today. You know, maybe it pulls back, maybe not. M face, be careful. M face is still probably gonna pull back into the 80 bucks. M face is a good one to start looking, good one to start dabbing. Big lots, retail player, right up there with Dollar Tree still a good buy right now i told everybody buy it under six today at 550 i bought a lot more big lots and i expect that it might make another low it might hit the 447 mark and make another low but i'm not gonna wait i'm accumulating i'm trying to bring my average down as close to the seven bucks i can i now pierce the nine dollar average on that so these are some of the things that i'm playing right now including google i bought one more google i'm um, dollar cost averaging into that and I'm just sharing with you guys, just sharing what I'm doing because I know a lot of you are real good investors and have real good plays. But I also know some people that watch the channel, they're kind of new to investing and they're finding good information and good value here. So I'm just sharing some of the other things that I'm investing in. That way, if you're also investing in it, it gives you a little bit of encouragement gives all of us a little bit of encouragement that hey i'm not alone on this some other person that likes highly on that thinks similar is also investing in that stock palantir i've been investing in it and right now i'm fully loaded with 
about a thousand shares at about 15 bucks average i'm just waiting for that to get into the money and i'll probably buy more palantir in the future um sofi as well pretty much fully invested in that and now i'm just waiting for sofi to go into the money before i give more so there's a lot of these stocks that we in common buy because i've seen it in the comments so keep sharing keep commenting i'll see everybody on the next video thank you for the support donate do super thanks and i'll catch everybody on the next week thank you so much everyone